All right, guys, before this video starts, I just quickly wanted to say thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video. I am a massive fan of Casetify cases. I have had their iPhone cases on my phones literally since before I can even remember. I used to have a skeleton doing yoga poses that I was absolutely obsessed with in nursing school. But anyways, I did just get two new cases from them. This one was a must for the spring and summer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this phone case. It says you're made to live your best life and don't forget it. This one's also really cool. It's made out of um, recycled phone cases, which is really cool. And then I haven't used this one yet, but that's what it looks like with little fake phone looking thing in it, but it's so cute and I'm so excited to style this one. I honestly would love to get all these as tattoos. Honestly, I think they're so cute. Um, but anyways, I love Casetify. Their cases are so great. You can also drop them a million times and not have to stress about it. I drop my phone. Josh and I have an ongoing joke about me dropping it once a day. Um, so every time I drop my phone, we both go once a day. Um, and I swear the only reason I haven't cracked it yet is because I continue to try and keep a Casetify case on it. I'll do a little drop test for you guys here. And I Basically, the way the science of it is like built, it's like it bounces. So do you hear that? Like where instead of like smacking onto the ground, the grip of it kind of hits the ground and it like slows it down, which is really cool. It honestly has saved me many, many times. Um, but yeah, anyways, just wanted to throw that in here. I will link um, my cases down below if you guys are interested. I'll also link the other two that I also have and love in case you guys are interested. And then I'll, I'll link the skeleton one that I'm also about to go buy if they still have it because it's so cute and it was just so me. So anyways, just want to share that, but I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Happy Tuesday. We are vlogging a week in the life this week. I'm hoping so at least. I have not had the energy to vlog week in the lives. I just haven't wanted to vlog every single waking day, but I was in the mood this week and I have a pretty chill week, so I thought it would be fun. Ah, that's on there. Good. Um, so that's what we're doing. My plans were to start it yesterday, obviously, with it being a week in the life, but I have been on my time of the month. We traveled, I jumped, I went from a night shift, travel, night shift, period started. So I've been mentally just in like a rut. And these bananas won't come out. <sighs> come on. So yesterday I just felt super tired. We slept in until eight and then I just was like super groggy. And then I finished editing a video for the most part. I just kept saying, oh, I'll pick up the vlog. Oh, I'll pick up the vlog. And then I just kept not picking up the vlog. So here I am picking up the vlog. We are starting today. We are doing the thing. We just got back from the gym like 40-ish minutes ago. I took a quick body shower. For my workouts, I actually just joined Cali Fuller Fits new workout program or i guess it's not new i think she's had it for a while i'm just new to it but it's a five day a week like gym plan she sets it up to where you have a workout for every single day of the weekday or i guess whatever your five days will look like um and then she has like some extra ab workouts for you to throw in and then some nice recipes that she'll toss in. So it's kind of cool and I'm just trying it out. Anyways, I'm making my smoothie real quick. I'm just doing a ton of shit that I didn't drink this morning because again, I was just not in the mood to this morning. This morning we woke up at like 8.30. We are having a hard time waking up. <laughs> I just cannot get my butt out of bed right now. Normally around my, my period, like my time of the month, I have a moment where I have a few days where like waking up is just kind of impossible for me to be honest. Um, and this was definitely like one of those periods where I really had a hard time. Um, going to love matcha. Um, and then Josh made us some breakfast and then we went to the gym and now we're back and I'm making a smoothie for lunch. I also have some leftover pasta, like shrimp pasta that we made for dinner last night that I might try and heat up in a little bit if I'm still hungry. I just have Pilates at four with Tay. So I didn't want to eat anything that was going to like make me super bloated and this recipe makes me super bloated. Um, it basically used an entire four ounce pack of um, grated Parmesan. And so it's a very dense meal. 
I also do have leftover soup in there too if I get hungry. I think a leftover tortilla soup might sit better before Pilates class than an entire spicy pasta. All right, let's hope this tastes good. Hopefully it blends good. All right, it looks really good. All right, it is currently 12.29. Smoothie is made. She's nice and creamy. All right. Mm, it's pretty good. Just very thick. It's going to take me a while to get through the straw. Um, but anyways, because it's 1230, I have to leave my house at 3 p.m. to get to Pilates on time at 4. So I'm thinking I'm just going to sit on the couch. I'm going to try and get that video edited and get it posted. I should be able to start editing my Vegas vlog. I would like to get that uploaded pretty close to this one just because they are like one goes into the next. So... Maybe we can work on that. I have towels in the dryer that will eventually fold. And then I'm either gonna put on some old vlogs or I'm trying to find new people to watch on YouTube. I gotta be honest, the only person I truly genuinely have ever watched fully, completely is my friend, Julia Christine. She doesn't really post on YouTube anymore, which makes me so sad because I felt like that was our way of catching up. Long distance friendships, if you know what I mean. Um, but I have a hard time relating to a lot of people and I also just really despise watching nursing content for me Watching what I have to like work through. is just like not fun anymore. Like it used to be in nursing school Um, so yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for just simple lifestyle vloggers people who actually like have Work-life balance and stuff like that. Let me know because I would love to have some new people to watch or maybe be friends with on YouTube um, but yeah, I'm really just not interested in nursing content right now. So just not nursing people, but I would love any other type of lifestyle vloggers. Um, but yeah, so I'll see what's on there. If not, we'll just put on a record or something and vibe out. And then I'm also thinking if I get everything done, I really want to start reading. I am on a quart of frost and starlight. I'm so obsessed. This book is really cute so far. I am on chapter five, just living life after the war right now. And I'm really curious where it's gonna go. Um, but it just seems very sweet and just homey, which is kind of nice after the long war and how crazy the last book was. Um, but it's super cute and I'm really itching to get to it, but I know I need to make sure my other stuff is done before I let myself sit down and read. Cause once I get reading you guys, I have a really hard time stopping. It's really bad. Um, but yeah, anyways, welcome to my channel. Welcome to week in the life. We work Thursday, Friday this week, which is why we have a really nice chill beginning of the week. Um, but yeah, I am gonna go sit down and edit and hopefully we can have a productive next few hours until we have to leave for Pilates. <music> My bangs are banging. It's 3.36 right now. I just pulled up to Pilates. I'm at Boots Pilates. I take their classes through ClassPass. I actually haven't been able to take any classes lately because they have been so quickly booked. So Tay and I have not been able to get spots at the time that we would normally both be able to go together. So we just have not been going, but we finally got in for today's Tuesday 4 p.m. class, which is really nice. So we're about to do that. Obviously, I'm here a little early. Normally, I have to leave at 3 because it takes me like 50 minutes of traffic to get here. Um, but traffic actually wasn't that bad today, so I probably could have just checked my maps on my phone before I left. But I kind of like being here early and not having to like rush through the door. Tay's also already here, so we're just going to get in. I'm gonna go sit in her car and we're just gonna chit chat for a little bit. Um, but I'm really tired. I was just sitting there. I zoned out editing. I didn't even get clips or anything. Um, but I got my whole vlog edited and it is currently uploading to my hard drive right now. And then hopefully once I get home, I can transport that and get it uploading in YouTube itself and get that video up for you guys probably by like 6.37 tonight. We'll see kind of what the time looks like by the time I get home from Pilates. It might be a little later or I might even have to get pushed till tomorrow. We'll see kind of how quickly I can get it uploaded and stuff when I get home. But yeah, anyways, we have Pilates. After Pilates, we are going to go to Sprouts. I need to get some pork marinade kind of stuff. I'm going to make some pork nachos tonight, which I'm really excited about. We'll go home, we'll make dinner, we'll get the video up, and then 
that's pretty much all we really have planned for the night. Josh has a lacrosse game, so I'm not totally sure what time he'll be home, so that might also impact the time I start and finish dinner, but no big deal. It's all in fun. And yeah, anyways, I am going to go talk to Tay, and then I will talk to you guys after Pilates. <laughs> guys my legs are literally shaking as I try to get out of my parking spot it's literally shaking on my brake I can't holy crap I whoo whoo that was a tough class I'm not a workout two times a day kind of gal it's the number one thing that's always turned me off about the 75 hard I thought it wouldn't hurt to do you know, a Pilates class on top of my normal lifting so I can at least keep to my lifting schedule. Um, and yeah, regretted it as soon as class started. But I know in like a little while, I'll feel really good. Like when I get to shower and lay down, I'm gonna be really glad that I did it. But yeah, anyways, Tay and I are just now leaving and we are gonna go to Sprouts. Taylor, on my way to class, Tay was like, oh yeah I need to go to the Sprouts by your house on the way home and I was like wow I love that because I literally also need to go to Sprouts so we're gonna go to Sprouts together we don't get many uh, grocery bestie days these days anymore we used to go grocery shopping and do all of that stuff together and now we're just a few busy girls and we don't get to do it anymore <laughs> just got back from Sprouts. I'll give you a quick haul. I got more of the three cheese, Mexican cheese. And then I was craving some string cheese and they had these little single ones in there so I got some of those. I ate one already on the way home a few. Can't tell. And then I got the shredded chicken for some salads because Whole Foods didn't have any yesterday and I did not want to go to Sprouts afterwards. And then I got this carnita seasoning for slow cooker. And then I just got a tiny thing of little peanuts because we need it for one of our recipes. And then I got some minced garlic and some minced ginger because we just used all of ours. And then I got a big old dragon fruit because they had one that was like really like ready to go. And I thought that would be yummy. Whoa, just broke a leaf. I'm gonna put the stuff that needs to go in the fridge away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shower I'm not gonna start dinner yet until Josh is probably closer to coming home. He's at one of his lacrosse games. So I'm gonna shower and make sure I can get this video uploading into YouTube and then hopefully shower and get a video for you guys and then we'll start dinner. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna do some skincare. I've shared this with you guys a few times already but I'm just going in with my beauty counter overnight resurfacing peel and then I just put Marula oil over that. This is from Trader Joe's. And I'm just gonna add it with the same ear ad like targeted wrinkle corrector. I honestly love this resurfacing peel. I think out of all of my products from Beauty Counter that I would absolutely recommend, it would be this resurfacing peel and then their vitamin C serum and then their vitamin C brightening oil. 
Those are like items in my skincare routine that I will just not mess with because I just love them so much. Just some good ride or die products. I cannot wait till I run out of this and I can get a new one where I don't have to freaking bite it to open it. All right, I'm just gonna put on my body lotion and then we'll change into some comfies and then we're probably gonna just go work on getting our video uploaded. browse around some shops for some outdoor furniture we're finally gonna start working on our yard and not get our patio space set up so we're really excited i'm literally wearing the same sweats actually these are different sweats just the same color that i've been wearing the last few days these are fabletics and then i'm just wearing my same gray tank top that i've been wearing a ton and then i'm gonna throw it with my little set active jacket the weather's just very wishy-washy right now so want to be prepared for whatever and then i'm wearing my little new balance sneakers and then i just threw my headband in because i don't want to do my bangs anyways apparently now we're gonna have lunch here even though somebody had it in its head that we were gonna go out to lunch but now we're staying in for lunch but why are you saying so it now, like it's my that i'm the reason that this that we're doing this because now it is oh okay, okay. in the shower i said you said you wanted you to said go you out dumb, and i said dumb dumbo <laughs> no, we're not. eating at home <laughs> Oh, guys, you see what I have to deal with. This just in. We are going to go out and get. It's just easier that way, remember? Oh, oh my gosh. If only that was my plan from the beginning. Good. Josh is just in a rushy mood. And I, want to, I wanted to walk you guys through the Caesar dressing. And I can't do that rushed. So there are alternative motives that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> change the dynamic of some decisions. Yes. And it revolves around me and them. We're what matters here. Okay. 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 Give me a give me a yes man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> man. <laughs> We worked hard and we made it through. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. We are home and I just came home to a PR package and I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, the company now wait it says Da Vines. Um, the product I use for my bangs, they just sent me, what the heck? I didn't even, oh my gosh, this is so cool. We got some Momo shampoo, babe, it's PR from the company I share about my bang serum. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Yeah, that's sweet. Um, but I got some Momo shampoo, excited. Momo Hair Potion, Moisturizing Universal Cream for Dry or Dehydrated Hair. Okay, cool. I don't really know how to use this, but we'll figure it out. Their directions. Okay, and then we got some Momo Conditioner. This is gonna smell good, I feel like. It says with uh, melon. I feel like melon things are pretty good. 
And that does smell. That is like salon quality. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What a fun PR package. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, guys. I'm really hyped about that. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Nicole. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. What a fun little PR package to come home to. I'm excited. I love hair stuff. All right, guys, we're going to go outside and measure out our balcony, our patio, so that we can order some furniture. We went to CB2. And then we went and got lunch at Cherry Creek Grill, I think is what it's called. So good. I got ribs and Josh got this like Asian rotisserie chicken kale salad. I don't remember. The, I think that's the name. Um, so good. We split everything and then I got the tea and he got a sodi and it was so good. But now we are going to go measure outside. We were going to go to Crate and Barrel afterwards, but CB2 had nothing and we just like didn't want to. They had, so we got a text and they had a sale going on. And then it was also a floor sale. So sometimes at CB2, like all of our furniture we've bought besides one of our main couches from CB2 or Crate and Barrel is like floor stuff. So you can buy it and it's massively discounted because it's been used on the floor as like a showcase piece. Um, so we were hoping we could try and get some cheapo deals on some furniture that way. We did find some good ones on Target and Amazon though. So that's why we're gonna go outside and um, measure it out and just see the vibe, get the feeling of the space that we're trying to create out there. And then we're gonna order what we want so that we can have it here, hopefully in the next week since the weather's starting to finally get nice. Um, but yeah, it's 2.30 right now, we're gonna do that. And then I gotta be honest, you guys, I'm so sore that walking physically hurts. It's getting up and down, sitting up, I'm so in so much pain. And it's my fault because what was I thinking not um, working out and like lifting for as long as I just went with like this whole winter depression I've had. But anyways, I'm gonna go outside, help Josh. What? What? What is that? Guys, plot twist, Van just said I'm a Ravenclaw. What is that? You know I'm a Slytherin. You know this. You know this. Let me see a hat. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, <laughs> who's next? Slytherin! Oh, you just gave me the wrong one. That's okay. Okay. Who's next? One. There it is. One. I can get it. Let me see. <laughs> Gryffindor! Sounds a Gryffindor! I think you are actually... I gotta be honest, Ben. You're a dick and sometimes you bite people, so I'm putting you in Slytherin. Slytherin! <laughs> He's so cute. Where's the other one? There it is. It's Hufflepuff. Which one are you? Here you go. Guys, let's have Sven pick his own house. Okay. Okay, pick one. <gasps> yeah, Hufflepuff. <laughs> that was... Oh, guys, he totally pushed the Hufflepuff. That was so cute. He's a Hufflepuff. No, he's a dick. He's a slut. But you are absolutely a Hufflepuff. You are right, my little love. Let me restuff. I gotta restuff it now. He likes taking these out himself. That was so nice of you. Nice. Awkward angle, but like Sven, deadass, takes the best care of his toys. If he doesn't like a toy, like you can tell, and he'll fuck it up. But like when he likes a toy, he takes the best care of it. I got this for him like January of... 2023 whenever the january was after i quit my nike job there it is remove these i'm so sore i just did not think i could feel this much pain from soreness to be honest i've never been this sore in my life um uh, but anyways exciting things are happening we are going to sit down and read josh just had to go on a work errand it's like all his day was today with work so that's why we got to hang out when we did which is kind of the nice thing about my job is being able to have days like that I don't know why that just got so much hair over my book. But anyways, while he's gone at his appointment, I'm gonna sit down and read this because when we're together, we have a hard time reading. I would just always rather hang out with him than read, so I have a hard time reading around him. Ah! Except he is on, ow! Marvel, ow! Ow! Why are you biting me? That was crazy town. Oh my gosh, she's going nuts. I gotta be honest, she's being kind of a bitch right now. Hey. What are you doing? 
What are you doing over there? Don't. Be nice. Give each other good scratches. <gasps> Ooh, sissy, you'll be mean. All right, guys, we're gonna get reading before this little mess. Just wax us. You be naughty. Oh, you're so cute. No, don't bite. There you go. All right, she's she's gone for the night. She's a goner. She's a goner. Ah! <laughs> you scared me. When it's me and you, I want this forever. Can you be my girl? I want you to know you're my whole damn world. Mm, my whole damn world. Happy Thursday. It is 1.18 right now. I just pulled up to my dermatology office. I am getting a little mark on my cheek checked out. I don't know really what it is, but it's come up the last few years. And obviously I just don't want it to be cancerous or anything. So I saw an appointment open up and I booked it. But yeah, I haven't done anything today. I tried sleeping in, I worked tonight. I woke up at like nine-ish, give or take. I was awake probably a little bit before that, but just kept trying to force myself to go back to sleep. Today was just not a day that I was going to nap on. I've read a little bit more of my book. I'm really, really, really loving A Court of Frost and Starlight. I think it's really soft and sweet. And I'm pretty early on still, um, hoping I can finish it before I go to work tonight or be almost done with it so I can bring the fifth book with me to work. But it's so sweet and I really love reading from everyone's like perspective and like, I don't know, I like that that kind of has been changing around. I don't know how long it lasts or if it's just in the beginning of the book, but I am really enjoying it. And I'm honestly, I could cry at the thought that I'm almost done with this series because I have just become so obsessed and way too involved with it, um, but excited that she is having another book come out soon next year, so that will be fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go into my appointment and that way if there's anything extra they need me to do, I can be in there before it starts. My appointment's not for 10 minutes, but... Just thought we'd get up there, get situated, see what we gotta do. It's also really hot out today, so my car is like not comfy to sit in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head up and then I will talk to you guys after. Alright guys, I am back from my dermatology appointment. And I am about to make Josh and I some salad. I wanted to share the salad with you guys yesterday, but that's what we were cracking up about because we went out and ate instead. But we are obsessed with the Caesar salad from Cook This Book. I will link this book down below. It's in my Amazon storefront as well. But I am obsessed with it. The salad is so good. And then we have this old dressing jar. It used to be ranch that we kept. And we've just been making the dressing in here. And then just reusing it throughout the week. We have like a whole lettuce, like romaine thing that we can just easily pull apart. And then we've been using the shreddable chicken or the shredded rotisserie chicken from that you can get from Whole Foods or Sprouts. It's like in their prepared section. And then I don't have grated cheese to put in here this time around, so we just have um, shredded cheese. To but I thought we would make this together. See if you guys like it or wanna try it. First thing we did was, I already did it, but I just broke up some bread. A little baguette that we got from Whole Foods Run and then I have the oven right now going to 350. So once that's ready, we'll olive oil those up and shove them in there for a few minutes. All right, for the dressing, the first thing we're gonna do is separate the yolks and whites of two large eggs. I think there's a lot of tips and tricks you can do as far as separating whites and the yolks, but I just do the whole, plop it back and forth until the whites fall into the bowl below. Okay, my goal was to just make this in the jar and mix it up in that. Do I need to have a bowl to mix it in? All right, we're gonna try just making it all in the jar this time, you guys, rather than actually using a bowl. Maybe, we'll see. Let's hope this works. My dermatologist was like, what book is this? Because I brought my book to read in the waiting room. I'm like, um, it's, it's about fairies. Number two. Pick number two, my lord. All right, and then the egg whites. You can do whatever the hell you want with the egg whites. Babe, do you want me to keep the egg whites or you want me to do whatever the hell I want with the egg whites? 
finally grate one garlic clove. We don't want to do that. I don't feel like grating a piece of garlic, so I am just going to use some pre-grated. Just half of a lemon. Now we're squeezing one half juice of the lemon. And then we gotta add one teaspoon of Dijon. Now comes the gross part, the anchovies. This is by far my least favorite part of making this. You have to basically turn fish into a little paste. It's yucky and not fun. But the flavor town it takes it to is worth it, right, babe? One half cup of olive oil. And then it's supposed to get to a thick, creamy, pale yellow. Three fourths teaspoon of salt and three fourths tablespoon of pepper. One teaspoon of Worcestershire. Well, I'll be here right by your side. To Happy Friday, you guys. I ended up falling asleep while I was reading my book on the couch last night, and I woke up in a panic rush because I did not mean to fall asleep. And then I also just like had no idea what time it was, and I woke up with like maybe 10 minutes to get myself ready for work, get out the door, and feed Sven because Josh had a lacrosse game to coach last night. And so vlogging just wasn't on the itinerary once we got that late. Um, so my apologies. Work last night was okay. I was able to finish, I think I had fallen asleep on chapter, what was it? It was before Morgan's, before chapter 22. So I had very little to finish last night, which I was able to read once I finished all my midnight vitals and stuff and all that charming. Um, and I started Silver Flames. Stop, fight me now. I can't finish the series, it's gonna ruin me. I'm already planning on rereading it. Like I, I'm so excited. I'm like obsessed with it and I, I'm, I don't want it to end. <laughs> I like need, I'm gonna start throwing a glass next to Tane once I finish Silver Flames, which hopefully will be, hopefully by the middle of next week-ish, we'll see. Um, we're gonna start Throne of Glass, which I'm really excited, and I am gonna read Crescent City. I've heard very differing opinions about Crescent City, but I like her writing a lot, so. I am going to divulge myself in the full Sarah J Mass universe. We're going hard, balls to the wall with it. I'm obsessed. Um, but let me know if you guys have any other recommendations. I am on Book Talk, so I have saved a ton of other videos and about books that to read if you really like this A Court of Thrones series. Um, so I'm super excited to finish for that reason, but I'm just not ready to part with these characters. I'm emotionally, wrongfully attached. It's psychotic. Um, anyways, it is 3.17. I came home this morning. I was able to clock out right at 7.24. I got my report done. Um, and so I was able to get out the door. I was home and showered and on the couch by like 8.15, which was awesome. Um, I fell asleep. Josh made me a little bagel with some eggs on it for breakfast. I literally handed it to him, laid down, and fell asleep. And so I probably slept from, I want to say like 8.40 till 2. Um, so not like a full big sleep, but normally when I just work the two shifts and I don't pick up a third, I'm okay with that. I really don't care. Um, plus we're going right into the weekend. So tonight is Friday night. So I work tonight and then I'm off the rest of the weekend. Um, so I'll have time to rest. Anyways, I just got done getting ready. And by ready, I mean, I just slicked my hair back, brushed my teeth, washed my face and changed from my PJs into this little set active outfit. Tay is on her way over and we are going to go on a wash park, W-A-L-K. I'm not bringing Sven, which is why I'm not saying those words out loud because I just like want to be able to like hang out with Tay and talk to her and not be so overstimulated by what he's going to be stimulated by. Sometimes walking him, especially when the weather's really nice, it can be really busy and I find myself more focused on just being with him and like making sure he's good and like comfortable than I am about like um, being with my friends if we go on walks like this. So... 
that's what we're doing. We're gonna go on a walk. I'm waiting for Tay to come over now. And then I think we're gonna go get coffee at Wash Perk Coffee House, or at least I'm gonna get coffee, obviously. She doesn't have to get coffee at three in the afternoon. Tay's here. I'm probably gonna pop a gluten-free corn dog that I have from Applegate in the microwave while she gets ready. Um, and then we can, she's gotta keep to the house and everything now, my baby girl. Um, and then when she's ready, hopefully we can walk out the door. Oh my goodness, thank you. Can I have your piss? Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How we doing? Oh my goodness! Doesn't that sound nice? Ooh, I'll be living at least a hundred more times, baby. What a beautiful way to spend the life. I just got home from my walk with Tay. And I'm going through my records because my house is a mess. I will show you what it looks like. I feel like everyone always thinks, whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do Guardians first. Um, one of the best soundtracks in the entire world. But yeah, anyways, we have just been super lazy and not been good at maintaining the house in the way that we normally do. Um, so I... I'm going to have a major cleaning sesh. This might gross some people out, but I'm not. I sweat a little bit on our walk, but I'm, I'm not going to shower before work because that just seems like a dumb thing to do. So I am going to go through and do a quick clean of the house. I'll show it to you guys before I get the music started. Like in here, this chair is a mess. Literally, Sven has all of his toys out. <laughs> he can't got so many toys out. Couch is a mess because I let him out of his kennel for my walk, so he... He likes to mess with the blanket and just lay a certain way. Um, so we got like all this mess. And then I need to clean up my book and make sure I get it ready to pack to work with me. Like Marvel, Josh put Marvel's thing up here and she just like got so much of it everywhere. So I need to like wipe this down. Literally this is our recycle right now. I need to go through and recycle so much of this stuff. I need to recycle and not finish up the dishes, put the microwave away. Like there's a pan here. Here's our little shit spot on the counter where everything always just gets thrown. So, I'm going to start some music. It's 528. I don't have to leave here till like 640 because it's a Friday, so I'll get to work in like 10 minutes. Um, so, we are just going to throw on some music and try and clean the crap out of this place because it's a hot, hot mess. One, two, three. That's literally one of her favorite spots to lay. Um, we always lay stuff up the blankets for her to lay there. It's so cute. She loves it. Got Svenny's toys put away. Say, I'm going to think about when I'm going to get out. You're so crazy. You're so cute. Um, we dusted all this off. Got our mirror clean. Dusted off the tables. The only thing I didn't do was the floors and vacuuming. Then I have some electronics under here that we honestly kind of just stash under here because we keep our big charging unit here. Um, counters are all clean. Josh is going to do the floors for me and probably clean the stove. But everything else is all good and clean. I got the table over there done. And then I also ended up cleaning the laundry room. I did her litter box. I have all these clothes that I do not have time to put away, so Josh is gonna do them. They're just like jeans and stuff that I had to just air dry and then fluff up. 
And then I threw a load of darks in and I'm just hoping Josh can hang it and then dry what he can. That way we can start a new load tomorrow. We have a pretty busy day tomorrow and I don't want to spend my entire Sunday cleaning. I want to have like a really good fun Sunday. So got that going. And then the mouse got to take a really good nap while we cleaned, huh, baby? We got to shed it. Yay! Good girl. I'm just going to refresh up my hair because my bangs are starting to fall a bit. A little bit more styling cream. This day stuff has lasted me like over a year. To be fair, I did stop doing slick back buttons once I got my bangs in October, but still. I feel like Debbie, the nurse I work with tonight. First of all, she's my main bitch. I love We have the best shifts together. Even if they're shitty shifts, we just have the best time. Like, I just love having all my older nursing friends that I have at my job. I think literally no one is younger than like 40 something, so it's kind of fun. Okay, why is my nose so runny? Is this allergies? All right, she is, I'm almost bald. She is slicked AF. All right, I'm just gonna brush my teeth really quick and then I'm gonna go change in to my scrubs. And then I'll grab you guys. I'll probably bring my camera and talk to you guys on the car drive to work because I actually have something really exciting to share with you guys regarding work tonight and work moving forward. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about that. 6.54, I'm actually running a little late. My time to get there says 7.02. So I'll be clocking in a little late tonight. Um, but I had to feed Sven and there's just so much stuff I forgot to do in the midst of cleaning. The reason I wanted to talk to you guys on my way to work tonight and the exciting news I'm talking about, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm not quitting my job. I don't think I'll ever quit this job. I actually really love it. But we hired some new people covering full-time and part-time nights. So I was offered to move to PRN, which I am so excited for. I'm gonna be a little PRN princess. I am doing the lowest tier, so I, my, I only have to work two shifts in a scheduled four week period. Our goal with me doing this, and I talked to my manager and my CNC, is we are hoping that I can start cross training and start helping other units um, between mom baby and NICU around us. I don't really have any interest in doing labor and delivery anymore. I did interview for a full time nights position um to do labor and delivery but i gotta be honest i just really love being a pediatric nurse i really love the kiddos i get to work with i just find it very rewarding and i feel like if i get to do my doula stuff which i am launching my business officially this month um i feel like i'll get the empath part of the labor and delivery aspect which is what i loved i love the emotional support aspect of it so i feel like i'm gonna get that better as a doula um so that's really exciting, but I am going PRN. Tonight is my last shift as a part-time nurse. I probably in the winter, um, Josh and I have been talking, I might just go back to full-time in the winter if it's available just because the winter is usually chaotic and I'd be picking up a lot anyways, um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and I'm excited to have a little bit of breaks th throughout the summer. I definitely plan, like I'm already picking up like a ton of shifts um more than my requirements because i don't want to not work i just want more flexibility of my schedule and you really get that as prn another reason that we also agreed to me moving to this and everything is because i pick up a lot on day shift as well and mixing days and nights is extremely exhausting when i'm already doing the two scheduled a week and then trying to pick up extra day shifts and stuff for them to help fill in the holes that we have for that gets extremely exhausting and so this will just be a lot easier for me to pick up either days one week or nights or whatever it may be yes people are leaving front row parking so like when i i plan on doing so when i do my two for the week i plan on doing them back to back and then that way the rest of the few weeks i can try and pick up as many day shifts as i can and then if i need to like one week i'll throw in like one or two night shifts if they like desperately need the help and stuff um, but yeah, I just like I'm so excited for the flexibility and to be able to have a tiny bit more control over my schedule um, And then it's also gonna allow me to pursue so many other things that I want to do with my life and my other hobbies like YouTube and um, Starting my doula business like I just feel like it's such a good and exciting opportunity <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so excited and I can't wait to help and mom baby like there's just so many good things coming out of it and I feel so excited 
and I just was really excited to share that with you guys because you guys have been a massive part of my journey, obviously. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that. But anyways, I am going in for my shift. Maybe I'll get some vlog clips tonight. We'll see how my night looks. I think we had a lot of discharges today, so hopefully I have a chill night. Um, unless they dump a ton of adults on us. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go into work, clock in, start the night. Hopefully I have some cutie baby nuggets or at least some cutie baby adults. Who knows? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If I don't get to say this tomorrow or later. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.